It's a large emerald. A lot of naturalists will go a lifetime and not see one of these. That's right, because you've got to do this work at night and collect these species. Yeah. And yeah. that, you know, up against our butterfly species is a fair rival for, for quite isn't a few it? of them, isn't it? It's, it's astonishing. Oh, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? It gently does it. Yeah, so there is great variety in them, isn't there? I mean, look at that. You've look gone from a, you know, a, a brown animal that's sitting in a sullen fashion, hoping not to be spotted by anything, mm. <laughs> to this, which is a almost a, a piece of jewellery, isn't it? Mm. It's the caterpillar that gives the both elephant hawks the name. The caterpillar has a long tail, reminiscent of a, an elephant's trunk, so hence the name elephant hawk. In a moment, we're going to be letting these creatures go. But from pale green to polished brass and beyond, you can only marvel at how our moths come in all shapes and sizes. But a lot of people don't like moths. They don't like all the buzzing around that they do at night. Yeah, and they've got a bad press over ruining your claws, so therefore every moth species ruins your claws, which obviously is totally unfounded. The only ones that ruin claws are tiny claws yes, moths. exactly. Tiny things. And of course it's the caterpillars that do the damage, not yeah. the moth. Yeah. But without them, the bird species would crash. Well, the tit species, blue tits. The tits species. Yeah. what would they eat? Well, their, their whole breeding programme is geared up to, you know, the, the availability of moth caterpillars, That's isn't right. it? Superb. Well, there we are. Another great night's mothing. <laughs>